A snare shot present Snare Basics with Jeremy Sommerfeld. Hi, my name is Jeremy Sommerfeld with the Snare Shop in Litterdale, Iowa. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about the basics of snaring and the main components that you're going to need um, to get started with snaring. Um, right here we've got laid out your, your main components um, that, that you'll need. There really are only three main items that you're going to need for, this, for snaring. Um, to start off with, we'd have um, some sort of staking system, whether it be a rebar stake, um, a lot of guys now are going to cable staking options or even just tying off to a tree or a fence post, um, possibly using a, a combo end or a quick tie off end. Um, you will need a support wire to hold your loop up in place um, over the trail to capture the animal. And then we also need the snare itself. Um, and when it comes to snares, there are, are different varieties of snares for different animals. Um, and that, that'll all depend on which animal you're going after will determine which snare you're going to need. Okay. Um, some of the main options on the snares as far as connecting to your anchors um, would be uh, a swivel. Um, that'll help keep the cable from twisting up after the animal's caught and, and help lessen the chance of them breaking the cable. The swivels are made to just slide right over the rebar. Um, you can actually attach them right to the end of your cable stakes using quick connectors, split rings, um, anything of that fashion. They just twist on. It's just like an oversized key ring. And then you have your, your anchor point. Um, or otherwise, they'd actually fit back through itself if you'd happen to wrap it around a tree you can always just scrunch that down and pull that back through and that'll give you a loop to where if you were anchored around a tree. Um, another option here would be uh, adjustable loop or even a solid loop. Um, these work really well if you're using rebar and you already have it all the way pounded in the ground. Um, you can always just take these then, slip it around the rebar, and pull it down tight as where if you were using the swivel you'd have to pull the rebar out, slide it on, and pound it back in again. Um, these make real quick work for resetting after, after a catch. Um, another option here would be just like a, a quick set snare. This snare is actually um, designed with the wire that will just wrap wrap around the rebar itself as the anchoring point and then you can set the loop in place um, from there. These work really well um, in heavy brushy areas because you can even just tie that off right to the brush. Um, another end here, this is the, the combo end or the quick tie end. These work really well in the brush and uh, anchoring to trees or fence posts. Um, these are actually designed where you'd wrap this around a tree, push the cable and washer up through, and then you have an instant, instant point of anchoring. And then you're able to tie off onto your snare um, from there. Um, we'll go ahead and gather these items up and head out to the field and I'll show you how to use them out there. Here at the snare shop, we use a, a universal support collar on all of our snares. Um, this is what I use personally too. Um, it'll, it'll work with any diameter of cable that you're using and, and any, about any diameter of support wire that you use, you know, 14 gauge up through number nine wire. Um, and the a simple process to, to set that on, you get it put in there tight, and then you actually thread it on and that'll that's what will lock it down on any size of wire that, that you're using for your support wire and it's actually a left-handed thread a um, little little backwards to what most people are used to um, but like I say just put it on snugly and start threading it on and that'll lock up tight and hold your snare loop in place over your trail uh, until, until your animals caught